Hey y'all, Brandon Hewitt here with Be Random Fishing, and this is The Bait. I love this is the bait. This is the Zoom Super Salt Plus Trick Worm, and it's in bubblegum pink. Like, it's the craziest color I've ever fished with. I cannot believe that this thing catches fish. Let me pull one out and show you guys what they look like. It's like super bright pink. It's a very, very elastic, like springy, bouncy. It doesn't sink very fast. Like the, the Zoom Dinger, like the one that looks like a Senko, it sinks faster than this. This sinks really slow. And that's why it's so much fun, is especially in this bright pink color, is you can see it. So you cast out by some weeds or stuff like that, and in the shallow, clear water, you can see it coming through the water, and you'll just see bass come up. Ooh, they eat it like crazy. So exciting. It's almost as exciting as a topwater bite. It's also a presentation that a lot of fish haven't seen. This is like sinks really slow, almost flat, and then when it comes through the water, those, uh, each side of the worm will come just almost like a wacky worm, and then it goes back to being straight. And it sinks so slow, it stays in the strike zone for so long. This bait was so much fun to fish. I know I just said so like 10 times in a row, but I was like really excited. This thing was a lot of fun. But let me go take you guys to the lake. I'll show you some fish I caught on this bait right here. And this worm is so light. I guess a lot of people throw it on like spinning reels, but I'm having no problem casting it with this. There's Lou's right here. Yes. Oh, that was awesome. I watched him slam it. Go right on the edge of that weed bed. That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's just barely hooked. Got him. Look how he's just barely hooked. Oh, that was so cool. He was just like, oh, pow. Oh, and that bubble gum. Mm. There's one in the weeds. Come on out of there, little guy. Woo, you ate that bubble gum. Right on the ed outside edge of that weed bed. Right in the corner of the mouth. Just how they're supposed to be. You little guys would be fun on the BFS. Super Salt Plus Trick Worm from Zoom in bubblegum color. This worm comes 20 worms in one package and it's a little over four bucks. Such a good deal. Let me pull one out and I'll show you guys how to rig this guy right here. This worm is very versatile. You could rig it on a shaky head, Texas style. You could do all kinds of stuff with this thing. But my favorite way is I have these Hayabusa weedless wacky hooks. Now see that, that monofilament keeper right there? That holds the bait in place and makes it where you can rig it weedless and wacky at the same time. A lot of fish have never seen a presentation like this because you can get that wacky worm in place as normal wacky worms can't go. So you just find the center of the worm and you go through like that, and then come all the way through. And then that monofilament keeper will stop right there on the back side of that worm. And then if you go too tight, if you go like too in, it'll make the worm bow. If you go too, you don't want to stretch the worm either. Uh, just kind of find that nice, just a tiny bit in, and then put the hook point through right to the bar. And then that's it, that's rigged. And that bait was so much fun to fish. It sinks really slow, it stays in the strike zone for a really long time, and it's very visible. So the fish can see it, you can see it, you can see the fish hit it. It's so much fun to fish. Now the only thing bad about this is the worm is kind of soft, so I was losing a worm every fish. It's kind of nice because they're only, they come 20 per pack and they're really cheap. But I wouldn't actually lose the worm, it would pull through and rip the worm. And then when it would rip the worm, it would be uh, kind of like that. This is exactly what it would look like when it was ripped. So that is another cool thing about this bait and why it's so versatile. 
is I was able to take the damaged worms and just rip them in half like this. And then I could nose hook it like so with the wacky hook. Now this wacky hook's a little big, it would still work, but I was using a one uh owner wacky hook and it just, this little guy got eight. I'm gonna tighten my drag just a couple clicks. I was not expecting that bite. Because usually, oh, there's another one. Usually I have to see where they're schooling and then cast into the school, but sometimes I get lucky like this. That's two and two casts. Woohoo! This one might be a little bigger. You jump for me? Whoo! Look at this, golly. We're in 17 feet of water. I still haven't even really seen the fish. Oh, that's a nice one right there, right in the top of the mouth. That's the big one of the day, I think. Oh, dang it, boy, what are you doing out here? In the sunset? <laughs> you took my worm, but. Um, I, caught, I caught a lot of fish just like this, and actually the biggest fish on the last trip I took was rigged just like this. I had a blast filming this episode. Another thing you can do is just rig it regular wacky. So you can come through right in the middle, Rig it wacky. Um, you can come through with uh, just kind of in a piece of the meat like that and come through, wig it wacky, wacky like that. I fished it like this a little bit, but it was catching weeds. I was fishing around a lot of weeds. So that's why I really, really love this hook. It allows you to fish wacky style in the weeds. But that's how I rig this, you guys. I have it on a 20 pound fluoro. I like 20 pound. It's fluoro, it's clear, they can't see it in the water and it gives you that that extra hook setting power it lets you pull the hook through the weeds it's just i like the 20 pound and then i just have it tied to 30 pound braid thanks for watching this episode of this is the bait and remember to fish learn and repeat we'll catch you on the next one